All right, guys, we finally got some dry weather here. Um, from the last video, and I have time to do this. I'm uh, cutting the handles for the walk behind um, Syracuse plow here. I said I made them out of pine. This was the first rough cut. Okay. I'm going to sit down inside there. So I got to get a measurement. It's got to sit down inside that slot. And then that slot on that side. And um, actually where that piece of wood is. It's got to sit. And then here. And i um, got to cut those bolts out. Right now I'm trying to get a measurement on the handle, see how far back I should be. I cut them purposely too long, so now I'm trying to get a handle on exactly how far back I should be on it. And again, I'm using a David Bradley as a um, kind of a template, kind of a uh, getting the idea from that exactly where how it should be. But it's a much bigger plow than the plow that was used on Bradley. Um, so I'm thinking person that uses plow need the long handles for steering purposes, maneuverability, so I'm going to make them a little bit longer, but uh, at any rate, that's the first very rough cut of the handle, of course it has to be trimmed and sanded and rounded, those edges are all, all going to be rounded, nothing square, nothing, nothing looking uh, rough, so um, the first one cut, Use that as a template for the next one, and uh, then we'll mount her up and see how she does. Got to cut those bolts off, get all that old wood out of there, and uh, again, just to show you, flip it over. It's a Syracuse number 1039. So if you can see that with the sunlight, but. That's what it is. Um, this thing is quite big and quite heavy. I tell you, there's a number on it there too. I can't quite see it. Um, after I finish making the handles, I'm going to sand it down and try to get all the ID on it properly and post it. But um, it's a beautiful plow. Very, very heavy. I had to take a pretty big, uh, strong draft horse to pull this thing. I'll tell you that, uh, with a man walking behind it. But uh, it's a piece of farming history, and I want to, I want to save it. I'm going to put it on display, and we're going to do it on the plow there. I'm going to put my uh, my house number, and it's going to be up on my lawn. That's the plan. So this is part two, and uh, next video up will be uh, part three of the handles mounted. I hope. Thanks for watching, guys. Book them, Daniel. Alright guys, we got both handles cut. And um, as you can see, um, a lot of uh, marking on the wood. So we're going to sand it all down, make it smooth. We're going to smooth that old square inches, make them a little round. And um, we'll be back. Alright guys, there's the two pretty much finished handles. A little bit of hand sanding now, but uh, they're pretty much ready to go. Next job is to cut these old rusty bolts out of here, and this remainder of the original handle, and uh, see how my handles are going to fit and bolt them. Okay, all the bolts are cut out, and we're free to try to slide my handles in there. I don't know if you can see here, but there's a U4 there. Try to ID this plow. There's a U4. There's actually some stars here in this uh, steel stamped out. There's two stars. I don't know if there's any symbolic reason for that at all. And a 45. Actually, yeah, it's a 45, I believe. All right. All right, guys, there she is. The new handles are finished and installed. Just uh, letting some... Uh, some wood glue dry that I used on the, uh, the dowels. Pictures of uh, this type of plow I've seen either had a metal brace between the two arms or nothing. I didn't like the metal brace. This, uh, I think a plow this old would have had the wooden dowels. So I uh, drilled and implanted three wooden dowels. 
has spaces and uh, strength for the arms. And uh, she's all bolted up. Two braces you see coming out and uh, two braces uh, inside the plow. Handles came pretty decent. Had a couple little hairline cracks concerning me, so I filled them up with wood glue. They weren't cracked through and through, but it just concerned me a little bit. Not that this is going to get used. It's not. This is a display piece. Anyway, the three wooden dowels. You see, it's the view from the driver's point of view. And uh, that's just about it. So, time to uh, get the paint out and. Uh, or stain, I'm going to stain the wood, paint the plow, and uh, make this thing uh, presentable. Stay tuned. Alright guys, there she is. As finished as she's going to be. Decided to add a wheel to it, a depth wheel. It's actually a wheel off a, um, an antique railroad hand truck. Had the bracket there that actually came off of a uh, Planet Junior um, plow. Put two of them together and it fit the bill. So there she is. She's, she's all dressed up, ready to go into the garden. Uh, I definitely will not be using this plow, of course. It's just going to be um, on display, so to speak. Piece of history. So I had to do the handles with a um, kind of a barn finish, um, brownish gray, giving an old appearance. And um, as I think I mentioned, uh, I put wooden dowels as the braces instead of metal. Again, here's the view from the driver's point of view. So that's it, guys. She's done. And, um, I guess I didn't mention earlier, uh, this plow was uh, basically rescued from a barn, uh, sitting alongside a barn. I seen it there, asked the fellow about it, and uh, he decided he wanted to sell it. And I paid $50 for this plow, the way you've seen it in the original video. And um, so, a little cleaning up, a little hardware repair, and a couple of wooden handles, and... She looks like uh, she just came out of Syracuse, New York, ready to go to work. So, not much else to do to her. I want to give her one more coat of paint and a, uh, a clear um, finish. Try to uh, keep her clean for a little while. And she's be going back on display in the garden. So... That's the story, guys. That's the wrap on the, the restore. It's not a restoration. It's just a uh, lipstick and rouge. But uh, the main thing is that we rescued it from the, from the scrap metal pile. That's the most important thing. Save a little bit more of uh, farm history. All right, fellas. Thanks for watching. And uh, any info you can possibly uh, contribute to this. Syracuse Plow, by all means, please do so. Thank you. Book them, Daniel.